So Freddie Mercury, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, characters like this, I think about from time to time, and I'm like, who is the best of all time? I just don't know. I think about it, but I don't really organize it, guys. So this is the perfect way to do it. Thought, hey, for this week, we shall do a tier list. And if you guys want to do your own tier list, I will put this down in the description down below for you guys as well if you guys would like to do it. And you may share it with me as many times as you'd like as well. And I'll have other tier lists as well on the channel, which you can go check out, which is in my tier rankings playlist as well. And I'm really not going to take up much more of your guys' time. I'm just going to get right into the playlist. So how we're ranking these guys is we have the gods, basically. And then we have the close to gods. And then we have the guys that aren't gods, but they're still really good frontmen. And then we have guys that are like, ah, right, as frontmen. And then the guys that are just fucking overrated. So first and foremost, we have Paul McCartney of the Beatles, the Wings. And he just goes under the name Paul McCartney to play live shows right now, I believe. Um, definitely one of the greatest of all times. I'm not, like, the hugest Beatle fan in the world, but recently I did start listening to their albums all the way through and whatnot and getting into them a little bit more and watching some of their live footage, and they are absolutely incredible. I don't understand how they got such a frenzy going, but they did it something right, and you have to be an amazing frontman for that as well. Um, I believe John Lennon is going to be in this later. Yeah, it looks like he's just up the list a little bit. We'll put him further up. But then moving on to Bon Jovi of, well, Bon Jovi. Um, I mean, I think he's a great front man. Um, definitely in the 80s and whatnot, the look, the charisma and whatnot. Not that the charisma isn't still there, but it's just, it's just without the look and the way the new music sounds. I just don't think he has the same energy as he did. Now, granted, he is probably pushing 60 at this point. So that explains it. So I just put him in the great for that because I just don't, I just don't still think that he's like a top tier front man maybe in the 80s he was um but yeah i mean you definitely can't say that he was up there with like paul mccartney even during the 80s Jimi hendrix definitely a really really good guitar player i never personally really got into him per se uh i've watched some live video of him and whatnot definitely a good front man but not not i mean he's definitely a solid front man definitely nothing mind-blowing and and whatnot uh i would just say he's okay as a front man and then we have Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. I honestly think he is one of the best of all time. Not that I've ever seen Aerosmith live and whatnot, but I have definitely seen live performances. Like I said, I watch a lot of guys on YouTube and whatnot, and he definitely, definitely has that showmanship. And just by his accounts on American Idol as a judge, definitely, very, definitely, definitely, definitely really terrific as a character on there, I guess you could say, if you will. Then we have Alice Cooper. Never seen him lie personally, but I've seen him on TV once again. It was on Access. It was like some special. And uh, definitely, definitely a really great front man, um, in my opinion. Uh, like, definitely super, super charismatic. Definitely really unique show. Definitely, uh, I just, just he can't put, quite put him in that top tier for, for some reason. But I think he's a hell of a showman. Definitely very theatrical and definitely very unique. Roger Walters, I don't even know, to tell you the truth. I'm just going to put him in, um, it, okay, I guess. I don't really know. Kurt Cobain, I'm going to say he's a good front man and whatnot. Definitely a lot of energy. Definitely some really unique songwriting and whatnot. But I wouldn't say he was, like, an overly, overly, like, super, super crazy good front man by any means. Definitely, definitely had the charisma and whatnot. I don't think he was, like, a super, super good showman by any means. And compared to some of the guys on the rest of this list, that's why I would put him in good. Axl Rose, ooh, where do I put him? Honestly, I'm going to put him in the best. Now, this is a guy I actually have seen live. Thank goodness. That's one band off my bucket list. I saw them at Rock on the Range in 2014. I've mentioned them probably on the channel before. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, just don't play Knocking on Heaven's Door for like three hours again. It literally wasn't that long, but it was literally probably like 10, 15 minutes long. And then we have another one that's not Ozzy Osbourne, right? I'm going to have to lean in for that one. Who the hell is that? It's not Randy Blythe. No, I mean, that's two in a row. Let me know who that is as well in the comic section down below. Who the hell? Oh, is that Eric Clapton? We're going to go with Eric Clapton. That's 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 my guess. Um, definitely a really good guitar player. I've only seen a little bit of live footage of him. But I'm gonna, I'm just going to say, like, he's an okay front man. I mean, he wasn't that great of a showman. But, like, definitely a really good guitar player and a solid singer. And he was also in the band Cream, by the way, and the Yardbirds. And there's probably countless others that I'm forgetting about. And then we have Mick Jagger, definitely one of the best of all time. Um, just from what I've seen on him as well, uh, definitely just had this knack to him 
that could just make a crowd just go absolutely wild. Kind of like the Beatles, kind of like how Steven Tyler can. Very, very, very similar to those guys, so I can't put them anywhere else. And then we have John Lennon of the Beatles. We mentioned him a little earlier. We mentioned the Beatles earlier with Paul McCartney. Definitely a, a really, really good front man. He goes as one of the best, I would say. I mean, he's right up there with McCartney. Them two together just, just make it like a mega, 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 mega front man, whatever, alignment, <laughs> if, you, if you will. And then, oh, the next guy. Okay, Freddie Mercury of Queen. Where do you think I'm going with him, guys? Where do you think? Where would you put him? Put that down in the comment section down below where you think Freddie Mercury ends up. Um, yeah, definitely. It's not a question, guys. I'm just teasing you. He's definitely the best frontman of all time out of all these guys. Yes, Paul McCartney, Steve and Tyler, Axl Rose, Mick Jagger, and John Lennon. Yeah, definitely way better than those guys even as frontman. And that's saying a lot. This guy, go watch Live Aid. That's all you need to say. Obviously, I was not alive to see Freddie Mercury, unfortunately. I was born in 92, he died in 91, so yeah, there was no chance of me seeing him live, and uh, you just go watch the Live A video, he has absolutely the best charisma as a frontman ever, stage presence, whatever you want to call it, he just embodies the whole crowd, gets everybody riled up, gets them to chant, hey yo, I probably butchered that like ass, but hey, uh, what can you say, I'm not Freddie Mercury. He is the best of all time, so he belongs with the best. And then we have this next guy. Is that a guy? Is that Bono from YouTube? We're just going to go with that. I don't know. So correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think he's good. That's about it. I don't really know much about YouTube. I don't know who this guy is, so I'm just going to put him in okay. Jim Morrison. Really, really cool front man for sure. I'm going to put him in great. He's just not quite up there with these guys, in my opinion. But definitely really, really great. Really good singer and songwriter. Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day. Really, really fucking phenomenal band. That's for sure. As a front man, I would probably just put him as great. If I if I put John Bon Jovi as great, I feel like he's got to be a, a great front man as well. I think he's on par with these other three guys right here. And then, last but not least, then we have Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin. And I believe he also does solo stuff as well. Um, I'm going to put him... Oh, this is actually tough. It's definitely between great and one of the best. I definitely think he's a really good front man. That's for sure. He's definitely phenomenal as a front man. Phenomenal as a singer and a songwriter as well. Um, the only thing, again, I've seen on him is YouTube videos and stuff on like Access TV and whatnot. So that's all I really have to go off of. Where would you put Robert Plant? I would put him in... Man, oh, fuck. I go great. He's just not quite up there with these guys. But he's definitely got swag and whatnot. Nothing against them. But when you got McCartney, Steven Tyler, Axl Rose, Mick Jagger, John Lennon, and then the GOAT, Freddie Mercury, when it comes to not only just singing, but stage presence, yeah, that's hard to match. But he's very close. He's very, very, very close to being one of the best frontmen of all time. So, guys, yeah, what did you think of my list? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys like the list. If you guys like these type of videos and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading stuff just like this again. Now, I'll be doing reactions in the future as well. And also, I'll be putting covers up in the future. Not so far future as well. If you guys would like to see more of that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe like I just said. Hit that like button so videos like this get out to more viewers just like yourselves and that we can grow this community and make rock and roll more of a prominent genre out there for everybody to listen to and i want to know what your guys's favorite frontmen are as well even guys not on this list like tell me who are the best of all time tell me what you think of my list tell me if you agree with me or if i just have a piss poor opinion of frontmen you are free to express yourself in any way shape or form that you feel Alright guys, until next time, thank you for joining me once again, and Jay Adams is hopping off.